Greetings Immortals and welcome back to our video spotlight. This week, we will be introducing you to our newest Immortal, Talia, the Queen of the Undead. I am Talia, the Queen of the Undead. My father is Dracul, the Vampire Lord of Graxia. As heir to the Undead Realms, my training began at an early age. Yet, the tenacity of youth and call of the unknown world beyond the shadows of my father's realm spurred me to disobey ancient law, and on the eve of the ascension, I fled. Many decades later, the War of the Crystals began and my father's realm was swept into the unrelenting bloodshed. Seeking the fabled Crimson Stone buried beneath my father's throne, the raiders brought my father's kingdom to ruins and conquered his great fortress. Worse, my beloved father was gravely wounded and was forced to ground. So now I must fight. I must assume the power I have once turned away from. I must fight to reclaim the Crimson Stone. I must fight to honor the lives lost defending my father's kingdom. Hear me, Graxia. I am Talia, Queen of the Undead. I am the darkness and I am coming. I am a vampire immortal who has trained to deal physical damage with dual melee weapons. Years of training have honed me into a formidable duelist, capable of crippling and annihilating single targets with deadly speed. I do not use mana for my abilities. Like my father before me, my power comes from my blood. I prefer to equip myself with items that are focused on increasing my attack speed, life steal, and armor penetration, as well as increasing my maximum health. Secondary items can focus on cooldown reduction and armor. My Q ability is Vampiric Lust. My thirst for blood can be used to heal my health pool or sacrifice it in exchange for increased damage. When I am in defense mode, each attack will heal me, although at a cost to my attack damage. While I am in offense mode, each strike of my weapon will cost me health in exchange for increased damage. When disciplined, Vampiric Lust's attack penalty for defense is decreased, while the damage bonus in offense is increased. My W ability is the Tendon Shredder. When I activate this ability, a portion of my health is sacrificed to increase my attack speed and armor penetration. Additionally, my next weapon attack will immobilize my target for two seconds. When disciplined, Tendon Shredder's attack speed bonus and buff duration are increased. My E ability is Shadow Step. I send my shadow to mark the targeted immortal. If you are my ally, then you will gain additional armor. But if you are an enemy, I will reduce your armor and you will be exposed, unable to hide from me or my allies for the duration. Also, should I decide to do so, while my Shadow Step is active, I can teleport directly to the target. Although this will cost me a fraction of my health. When disciplined, Shadow Step's armor buff and debuff are increased, as is the duration of the mark effect. My ultimate ability is the Succubus Lure. My charms will pull you close to me, leaving you entirely in my thrall, unable to move, attack, or cast abilities. As you draw near, I siphon health from you and allies that are close to you every half second, healing myself for a portion of the damage. When disciplined, the health cost to activate this ability and cooldown timer are decreased. My signature ability is Crimson Mist. When activated, my vampiric vitality will shield myself and my allies, healing us whenever we are attacked by our opponent's weapons. You can unlock my signature ability with discipline points in the champion tree at persistent level 21. And that concludes this week's Immortal Spotlight. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. To learn more about Rise of Immortals, visit signup.riseofimmortals.com to download and play the game today for free.